Hi there and welcome to this week's Cougar Mail. Well, last weekend saw us play Gateshead Thunder. Off the back of four defeats, I was really wanted us to put in a big performance. I knew we'd beat Gateshead who have been struggling all year. I didn't want it to be a t- tit for tat and we get away from it at the end. I wanted a really comprehensive performance. We spoke all week about getting our season back on track and getting back to playing the, the, the football we know we're capable of. I have to say, as a coach, I couldn't have been prouder of the players on the weekend. They were absolutely outstanding, scoring 18 tries, some of the best tries I've seen all season as well. And yes, we played Gateshead, but they still had to be beaten. They had some courageous players in the middle of the field and, and they were times aggressive, but we used our skill and our ability to get combat that and came up some really good tries. Jamel Coleman, the new signing from Lon- uh, London Scholars, was outstanding yet again and he's improving every week and once he's getting to know the players and the systems that we use I have to give a massive pat on the back to Ryan Smith as well who, stand, who stood in at seven and allowed me to go back to my favourite play, playing position at, at loose forward and he was excellent you know, a lot of talk was about Jamel but I thought Ryan was equally if not better um, played really really controlled rugby league both halfbacks combined well together as well you know, had some exciting players Jake Normanton also on on loan from Leeds Rhino was very, very good. We're hoping this week to extend his deal to the end of the season, and we're hoping to do the same with George, um, although that's not decided yet. So at this stage, it looks like Jake will stay with us to the end of the year, um, and George will wait. We'll let you know when news comes of that. Also, the signing of Dave Halley. Dave Halley didn't play last weekend as he had family commitments and was given permission to to, you, to spend time with his family in an important time, but he was he's training tonight and he'd definitely be in contention for a spot on Sunday. Dave Hall is an outstanding signing and great acquisition to the club. I played with him at Wakefield. He's one of the best kick returners I've ever seen, um, and he's definitely of Super League quality. On top of that, he's an excellent kid, and he can't wait to get down to Cougar Park. He's a local boy, only living at Bradford, and he's really up for coming down and playing for the Cougars and helping us get back into the championship. So it'd be great to see him out there on Sunday. On the field though, off the field though, there was some really good feel, it was really good feeling down at Cougar Park. The atmosphere was outstanding. We had 200 dancers perform in the dance routines during pre-match and at half time. We had rugby tag tournaments and the place was buzzing, full of young people enjoying themselves. There was an ice cream man, there was face painting, there was so much to do for kids. And the, the talk after the game was how good the place felt and how much uh, everybody enjoyed their day out in what was beautiful weather as well. This weekend we've got a similar type of thing. Uh, We've got the political animals playing against um, the British Asian Rugby League Association, the Bala, you know, in pre-match, which is a game that got postponed in the winter. And I know both teams have been really looking forward to getting this game on. Uh, As the Asian team are playing before, and we're making an Asian feel in hospitality to be catered for with Asian food. And, you know, we're gonna have dancers will be performing Bangra type routines. So it's going to be a really good day down here at, at Cougar Park and it's going to be on the field our toughest game of the season. Playing against Swinton Lions who have only lost once and one draw this season and rightfully so are the front runners for automatic promotion. But with them losing to Workington last week and us picking up a win and getting, getting our hopes for automatic promotion back on track, it really is a huge game. But we're going to have to be at our best because they're a very good team Swinton and it's going to take an outstanding performance from the Cougars to get the result. We're confident that we can do that, and even more confident if we can get you guys down here in full force, shouting the Cougar chant, and getting right behind the lads. We've got four games left at home this season. We've got, sorry, three. We've got Swinton this weekend, we've got Doncaster a few weeks after that, and we're finishing with Whitehaven at home at the end of the season. All three games are massive in terms of our promotion to faith, our chase, and also those three games are against teams that are vying for the same thing that we are. So get down to Cougar Park over those next three home games and make sure there's an atmosphere that players really respond to. Other than that, it's bye for now and hopefully see you on Sunday with a massive gate down here. I'm expecting well over a thousand people. I know the Swinton people will come out in force and they're enjoying a good run with their, their team this year. But let's make sure that we show everybody in Championship one that we're, we're looking to get beyond this and a win on Sunday will definitely show our intentions. See you then.